Now more than 200,000 people will be in Yuba City this weekend for the annual Sick Festival. ABC 10's Devin Truby has been enjoying the event and joins us live right now. Devin, I hear some sounds in the background looking pretty lively out there too. Oh, it is, Laura, and I wish I could send the amazing smells through the screen to you and Chris as well. My photojournalist and I, Ayanna Williams, and I ate earlier today, and everything was absolutely amazing for the start of the 44th annual festival. Yeah, we are lucky, you know. It, their festival in my, my own town. Thank you very much. Do not just have bread. Rashwant and his friends have been cooking for the festival since 2008. They get together as a group, pulling their money to cook for 200,000 people for free over three days for the annual celebration of Nagar Kirtan. It's the birth of our religious book, Guru Granth Sahib. Uh, we call them as a living guru. Meninder Gill has been attending with her family for eight years in Yuba City. We serve like different food because in our culture, it's important to have open gates for every culture. Everybody can come, everybody can eat, people in need, they don't need to pay for it. They can just come and eat whatever they want to eat. Um, it's more about our like core values to respect every culture, to respect people. Fresh tea. Gil says it's also a chance to connect generations through culture and pass down teachings. And even my mom, she, uh, my parents, they live in Toronto. My mom especially came for the Nagar Kirtan. Um, I see so many people who just come to celebrate this thing here. This is the largest Sikh festival outside of India. A lot of people came from Los Angeles and in other cities, Bay Area, Bakersfield, Fresno. The small town of Yuba City with a population under 70,000 will welcome 200,000 people to what some say has become like a second home. We belong to the agriculture. In the Punjab, we do agriculture. The people came here to agriculture because that's why they gather here. The atmosphere and everything is a match to the Punjab. The main event is tonight at 9 for the fireworks show and everyone we spoke to, they wanted to re-emphasize to come out and join them, eat and that everyone is welcome. And this event spans for three more blocks that way. It is just massive. So many things to do here, Chris and Laura. Yeah, very cool, Devin. The bazaar is open and will continue to be throughout the weekend. And there's also a parade Sunday morning at 11. We have the route and the road closures on our website, abc10.com. Devin, thank you.